That's very interesting. He has received briefings. The question then is, it, did he receive those briefings since November 7th, when Global News reported that CSIS had said that, that the Chinese government had funneled money to nearly a dozen candidates? So the prime minister says he knew nothing about money from China to candidates. However, presumably, he would have been curious enough to ask when he read about it in the news. Did he? The right honourable prime minister. Speaker, I think you and all Canadians understand that I need to be deliberate about my answers when it comes to a matter of national security. Canada and our allies are regularly targeted by foreign states like China including during our elections. Our national security agencies under this government are taking more action than ever and indeed are among the global leaders on countering global inter uh, foreign interference in elections. We created an independent panel to evaluate foreign interference threats to Canadian elections that confirms that election integrity was not compromised. I am briefed, but more, all parties are briefed on threats. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The question is, has he been briefed since November 7th about whether or not a foreign power funneled money to Canadian federal candidates, yes or no? The right honourable prime minister. Mr. Speaker, as I have said a number of times in this House, to this moment, I have not, in all the briefings I've received, uh, there has never been information around candidates receiving money from China in the 2011 election, uh, in, sorry, in the 2019 election or in the 2021 elections. We have uh, independent public servants who are engaged to oversee the integrity of the elections. They confirm the, the elections uh, did uh, ha complete, uh, complete themselves with full integrity. Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Did he ask for briefings on the allegations that were in the November 7th story Yes or no? The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I know the member opposite who sat in a cabinet understands the importance of uh, respecting national security guidelines. On top of that, I know uh, the member opposite understands how important it is to assure the integrity of our elections because he was the Minister for Elections Integrity under that previous government. But under that previous government, while he was making reforms to our Elections Act, he did absolutely nothing on foreign interference. What we did, Mr. Speaker, was bring in a number of mechanisms, a number of new tools to ensure the integrity of our elections. Leader of the Opposition. So he's he wakes up in the morning, he raises a story that says that a foreign government funneled money to Canadian federal candidates, and he can't tell us if he picked up the phone or face-to-face -face asked his officials if these allegations were true. So we'll move on to a next question. The Prime Minister said yesterday when I asked if there was any electoral interference from a foreign government that there was none that significantly changed the outcome of the election. Was there any interference to his knowledge, yes or no? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Like I just said, Canada and most of our allies are regularly subject to foreign interference from uh, various states, including China, on an ongoing basis and including during our elections. And that is something, Mr. Speaker, that the member opposite would know if uh, he'd paid attention when he was Minister of uh, Elections, but also if he were to ask to his two colleagues who are previous leaders of the Conservative Party from 2019 and 2021, whose teams were briefed before, during, and after those elections on foreign interference. Right.